All those pesky silver birches wreaking havoc on my tear ducts as it burn. And also Josephine Woodcock put a soiled sanctuary towel in my sleeping bag, which I didn't love. Have you ever said? Eh, Alvarez, slash, just go, Alvarez. I have watched three back to back episodes of Buffy Vampire Slayer. I would be not being a sea urchin. Then I'd clean out the mind skin from Sharp Little Six. Any moment now, you will witness the enchanting trail of death really left by Comet Temple's on. No, I'm not happy. I'm not in any rush. <laughs> Seen any more seals recently? No. Seen any more settlers? Not that I know of. Legend has itself you males typically seek those who are dissatisfied with life. Do you think that could be the rule? No. I'm a very, very incredibly happy person. Are you? I don't know. I never really thought about it before. Are you a very, very incredibly happy person? No, I often feel deeply troubled. Cool. <laughs> I mean, not cool, but cool, but I understand. Are you crying? A little bit. Why? Because I I feel sad for you, Jim. And, and I feel sad for your dead mum, and I feel sad for my wife, mum, because she's a slut and she's very unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> to go to Josephine Woodcock's tent while she was sleeping and very kindly cleaned out her hairbrush for her. But she didn't appreciate it. <laughs> and they all hate me, those girls at my school, and my mum hates me. I don't hate you. I don't hate you either. What? For all the look is happening? My soul has entered another direction. I feel like every nerve in my body is tingling. Like I'm on fire, but in a good way, not painful. I feel like I turned inside out. The whole world's back to front. It all makes perfect sense. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. For a moment. Jim. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Will you forge into my car about without knocking? Yes, but to be more cool, Jimmy, to be ready to seal mark. Well, I told you I was thinking about the hairs of my arms. Yeah. I wasn't. What were you thinking about? I was asked about the hell bike. Do you know what I was going to think about? Uh, should I explain? No. Zoe Ball? No. Well, what were you going to think about then? I was going to think about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that, is that disgusting? No, no! I mean, yes. Anyone's ever thought about me while I'm being caught? So they are not Excellent, eh? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to forgive you on air. Oh. I'm going to forgive you. Um, thank you. So? Thank you for your forgiveness. Right. I don't know what to say. For once? What? Sorry, I was just being funny. It's just me. It's just a joke. <laughs> right. Sorry. I'm going to be ready. Uh, I saw the movie. I saw White Plains. Oh. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it won an Oscar, so... Yeah, and um, congrats, you know, it and everything. Yeah, thanks. And it was really like, um... I am. Oh. Yeah. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, she showed me a lot. Yeah. Um, I can't believe it for me. Obviously, I understood it was an actor, but you know, I understood that it's based on me. Well, remember some of those um, events. And she just it didn't, didn't feel like me. Like I was watching it through someone else's eyes. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't. Okay. I'm sorry, Lewis. Okay. I just, I need you to understand that. I am really sorry. Okay. And I know it's whatever, there's nothing I can say, but I need you to tell you before I tell anyone else. Because I feel really, I feel really bad. I'm sorry, Lewis. 
You know, he said, I am. I do want to forgive you. I do. I want so fucking badly to forgive you, to, to move on. But, but all I can think of is, I just keep thinking of and Mitchell and how, and how I saw you call my best friend a faggot over and over and over again in your eyes until the glee you felt when you saw us. So you'll have to forgive me if I don't feel sorry if you have the voice of a conscience in your head for a week. Because I've lived with your voice in my head long enough. Every single fucking day I hear your voice in them. And I'm the lucky one because Mitchell, Mitchell couldn't drown out your voice. He decided that he would rather be dead. And sometimes, honestly, I'm jealous of him. I am jealous that he got to escape. And it's not because I'm holding on to everything. It is because it is holding on to me. And it is not holding on to you, and that is not fair. Well, they're waiting, so you will offer a simple apology. I will forgive you, and we will, we will move on. I tried, I started, and she said, 
said, she says she's good for me. He points out things I don't see. And we make sense. She makes me better. She is a manipulative cunt. <laughs> what, a manipulative or a cunt? Because she is a cunt. <laughs> An insane, toxic, manipulative cunt. Do not talk about her like that! Huh? What? <laughs> what are you going to see? I'm going to go to see someone after a few days. Oh, I see, no, I told you, I told you, we should go visit. We made you run! No, we're not! Matt, you came on to me. I said it was a bad idea, and you came on to me. I know. Yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll tell you tomorrow, I promise, just don't go. Please, Al. I swear, and the first thing tomorrow that it's done. I'm so sorry, I should. It's done for the two of us. It's okay. And I'll, I'll come off out tomorrow and we, we can tell them when you come out for Christmas. I'll be really happy, they love you. Dad might be a bit, but, but they love you. I'll be really happy. I know. And I'll tell them. I know. I will. What's up? I know you. You need to be here, Sammy! Why are you saying that? I'll oh, scream, hey! Why are you talking to me? Just get myself prepared, that's all I'll have to be. Quiet, quiet, quiet! Sammy, do you? Boxing, that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, sorry, took a laugh. It's alright. Just don't talk to my mic now. Oh, I tried not to. Look, my uncle told me. You've got to focus your mind and your energy and think about what it is you're about to do. So your uncle doesn't let me talk? It's part of the training. There are things you should and shouldn't do. It's about being fit, healthy, and Alex. Got that to drink. You just have four stars. Yeah, but I'm not boxing now, am I? I'm fighting. Boxing is a discipline. It's about strength and stamina and self-control. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not allowed to wank. <laughs> but I'm not allowed to wank when we can go fight. Ew, that's disgusting. Why is it? Well, why are you talking to me about that wanking? Just telling you stuff. Well, why are you telling me that? Because it helps you fight. I'm sure a girl box will be told that she can wank before a fight, you know. Fucking hell. I don't know, that's disgusting. How am I disgusting? Girls do it too. Don't know. Well, why not me? Because you're a girl. So? Why are you going red? I'm not going red! Why are you shouting? I'm not shouting! Why are you wanking? Fucking hell! What are you doing? Fuck off! Why are you asking? You're an idiot! Why are you fucking embarrassed? I'm not embarrassed, mate. Trust me. I think you're fucking not better. Why? Because you're disgusting! Shut look at me. Shut look at me. Honey, 
Now that Dad's gone, it doesn't make sense. It's time to let it go. Where am I supposed to live? Come to New York. You can stay with me a bitch at first. There's plenty of room. And you can't leave us. It'll be so good. You deserve a change. No, why are you doing this? I want to help. By kicking me out of my own house? It's my house too. You haven't lived here for years. I know that. You were on your own. I really regret that. Oh. Look, now let it down. I feel awful about it now. I'm trying to help. You want to help now? Yes. Dad is dead. Anna. No, he's dead. And you fly in for a weekend and decide you want to help. You're late. What? No. Where were you five years ago? You weren't helping then. I was working. But I was here. And I left them alone. I was working 14 hour days. I paid every bill. Yeah, I paid off the mortgage. You had your life. You got to finish school. You could have saved this power. You could have done anything. I told you that. I told you a million times to anything you want. Tell someone how to take care of things. Yeah. He should have been in a full time professional care situation. No, he didn't belong in that house. No, I am better off. No, how can you say that? Oh, this is where I'm still guilty, right? Yes, please. I'm heartless. My own father. Yeah, he needed to be here in his own home. Maybe some real professional care. Been more good than rattling around in a filthy house for you to be out there. I'm sorry, Catherine. It's not your fault. It's my fault for letting you do it. He might have been worse than possible. And he might have been better. And you might have been better. Where are you? Living here with him didn't do you any good. He said that himself. You think it like that? He has some of his talent and some of his tendency towards instability. But Claire, in addition to the key departments that you've scouted for me in New York, would you by any chance also devoted some of no. your other considerable energies to work finding a living facility for your little sister? Absolutely not! Don't play me, Claire! This is that look. All I'm saying is the doctors in New York are the best and they can
But do you know what? So much your bits of tea. <laughs> well, I think so. Yeah, I should have to apologise for that. I'm not apologising to my like, men to apologise. No. Is it tired of them? No. Can we just contemplate for a moment what it means that little Yorin so stick? <laughs> if I am Bella, it'd be a good one. Yes, and took that off and just put something 
the possible is very endless. So how's the postal service? <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> It's a great job. I get to ride around all day and other people. Happy thoughts, presents, and good wishes. And bills. And see, I'm very careful not to put bills on top. See, I find out one personal letter and I make sure that's the first thing my client sees. And what if they don't have any personal letters? Well, then I'll wait a few days until they do. And if nothing comes, I write my own. You write people letters? Yeah, sure, just a little card. One that says, I'm still thinking about you. I haven't forgotten. Your friend. <laughs> your friend who? That's it. Just your friend. Oh, and nobody goes to the post office and asks where the fuck that letter came from. It hasn't happened so far. God, this place is so weird. There's no one else. No. I can't have you. No. You turn. You turn. You turn. Yeah, I am telling you. So it's not him. Not me. Who? Jermaine. Not me. Your Jim. Don't call him that. He's a friend. He's a meathead. He's not a meathead. He does star jumps for a living. He does star jumps for a living, so... So... Nothing. I like my job. You don't. I do. You don't. You say this out to dead end job with dead end people. You say. I don't like my job. You don't like my job. There's nothing to do with that anyway, so... I just... I... I don't... But why? You stop asking me. You haven't given me an answer.
That's their choice, though. Oh, I know. I know that, but for me, personally, for me, the idea of staying here any longer than I have to, or I'm going back here at all, ever, feels like death to me. Okay. Wow. Sorry, that was a bit more of a bit, wasn't it? No, I mean, well, I guess you're clever, so it doesn't make sense to think like that. You think I'm clever? You know you are. Oh, please. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I don't want to do things the way everyone else does them, and I don't know how, and I don't know what I mean. I sometimes feel like, I get this weird feeling that um, I've been in the same clothes for so long that I'm going to like burst out of them, like um, the Hulk. <laughs> and, um, when I'm at school, I'm like huge, and all the year sevens are like miniature, and I'm creasing my arms are going to start like poking out the windows, and, and my head is going to like smush against the ceiling because they're too huge for all of it. I never talk about this. Yeah. PJ. Yeah. I just wanted to say earlier. Okay. 
be. Oh, that's kind of you. You take my jumper. Where have you been? Is he? He's been outrageous. He's worried. He asked me to stick about, to wait, and said, Yeah, right there. He didn't mean that. Sam, you shouldn't even have to tell me that. You must be freezing. Why were you cheating? Where have you been? Why were you giving him the answer, Sam? Listen to me. Why? He's the smartest man I know, and he was a professor for 20 years. Yeah. Oh, he told you that? Of course he did. Well, if you went through your pursuit innocence, why the fuck were you cheating? I wanted to help him. Oh, because that's all you want to do, isn't it? You just want to help him. You just want to help everyone. What's wrong with that? He didn't need your help. No. And I don't need I'm your help. I'm sorry. Then why are you still doing this, Sam? He asked me to stay. <laughs> to make sure you were in safe. And you are. So I'm done. I'll go. No, 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 
now if, if you're punishing me, you, you, you would have told me. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to understand, but I'm, I'm really. I'm, it's because I'm trying to kill me. Why? You're not in love with him. Are you? Well, that fucks things up. Christ. Look, I'm sorry. I. I'm going to be sick.
Je moc víš kálec? Brčet. Lime and wait, hey? For the joints, jump in! You've got a sense of humor, that's good news. I hope so. I've got a cracking sense of humor, me. Oh, yeah. I always have. Ever since I was able to talk, really. Laying them down there, making jokes, you know. At Nanny and Stitches. <laughs> Oh no, I've just been people usually never ah, you know, say the 26 or the 46, say the tall and actually quite short. And, uh, oh no, I can't talk about me, but I'm lucky. Thanks very much. I suppose you only recognise me, though, did you? Well, you know, I just look for the prettiest girl in the room, that's all. <laughs> No, I'm not happy. <laughs> done this before, haven't we? Yeah. Well, once or twice. Well, yeah, I'm not quite familiar with the form. It's just up to us, really. It's just quite good to meet somewhere public at first, you know. <laughs> just for us to get safer for the woman. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, you don't want to get bashed on the edge, do you? <laughs> Someone in a deserted place, and I got the last thing. Ha ha ha! Did you? Oh, that's it! Oh, I'm molested. I thought you said you got arrested. That's too long. Oh, you got all day, all right? I take it. You've seen enough of me that I've passed the test and don't look like a possible molester. Don't <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't fancy getting in. No, it's not mine. Charlie, you look. What's your Okay, um, how about somewhere that we can get a drink? Just a one, possibly a meal. My treat. Oh, yeah, maybe just not on the first meeting. Oh, there's nothing wrong with eating, is there? I know there's certain things that you shouldn't do on a first date, but eating's not one of them, surely? Just then, you came for me. I think first time, let's just go and Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, sorry. I don't hold these foreign practices. <laughs> You're the girl, I'm the chap. I pay. That's how it works in life. <laughs> Seemed too heavy a trip, so I tore off the address and I threw the rest of it away. But I had to come down to London to fix my visa. I hate you. I keep thinking about this is all I know from Cape Town. Last time I went to see a movie, Sal's mother sat two rows in front of me. Boy, did I get out fast. Who's Sal? She was in our group, so. So I thought, if I looked you up, then I'd know exactly what to expect. And now I discovered Tanya's here, maybe it's all for the best. Why did you say that? I can't run away forever. What I said in the letter, if I wanted to know, I would have read it. Well, it took me a day to write, so you can spend five minutes listening. I'm listening. It doesn't matter to me what anyone else might think about you. You're still my friend and you always will be. You're going to go on like that. Shut up. Whatever you, it's not whatever. I thought you were going to listen. I'm not going to listen to any old crap you happen to come out with. You say whatever as though what I did is willing and vain. It's not. It's concrete. It's defined. There's a word for it. Betray. Still giving speech. I'm so bad in your Do you want me to hear? Oh, good question. What's the answer? Quick, because the answer is no. Get to the point. I just want to say that I can't condemn you. Because if I do in the same position as you, I'll probably do exactly the same thing. That's just for now. Maybe you would. Maybe lots of people would. But you didn't. I did. That is the fact. If you're denying that fact, then you're denying our friendship. So we do have a friendship. We have a friendship in distress. Don't. Then you must have a fucking 
Gottes Böhnlöst. What about when I dumped that suitcase on you? Did a man want that? No. No. Then why did you tell me to fuck off forever? I didn't mean it. You dumped the right thing. If you'd smashed it with Tammy, or Dion, or anyone else who was one woman to be living, you put the risk. I wasn't connected. I wasn't going to be raided. I was safe. And the suitcase was safe. What about my lying in public content? You're protecting me. The less I knew, the safer I was. So that screwed up. You didn't mean to screw up. You were just being stupid. Why did you leave in my garage so the heat was off? I'd come to Caledon Square. I wasn't thinking straight. I mean, my head was a mess. I mean, why did I try to back to my flat? Ridiculous. But the hell was dark in my I couldn't think of anything else to do with it. So I drove back home and... What? Do you ever get a feeling that you're in a place? Or you're seeing that place for the last time? What's that? It's Tanya. Say, oh go, whatever you want. She's gonna give you a hard time. I'll stay. I don't understand how all you have is wine. Why? It's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm here with blood brother. I'm sure it's absolutely delightful. How posh do you think I am? But it's not to get pissed off, I love it makes my head hurt. That just means you need to drink more, Frankie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're fine.
I think you need to go and live somewhere else and I just need to be on my own for that while. How do you work? Yes, on my own, okay? We just need to have a time apart, just for a little while, okay? That's his exactly decision I come to. Fuck you. Was it going to bring something then? We probably need to step back. Yeah, we do. We should warn you though. Could go find someone else. Well, you know that was the first thing to take, so could I. Why not? I think it's still reasonably presentable. You're stunning. <laughs> you are the most beautiful woman. I mean, you're stunning. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you are an absolute sizzler. That'll do me to give us a The face of a fucking goddess. Did you look that way, please, just stop. No, I'm not making Nikki, let me feel it. Listen to you. No, that's for your body. <laughs> Last night I was looking at photos from the first time I got to tell you. Greece. I remember. Your eyes are bloodshot. It's the cold. It makes the water 
Are you going to cry? No. <laughs> it looks like you're going to cry. Oh, no. <laughs> but it, it looks, it looks like it. <laughs> well, looks can be deceiving. Do I have to ride? Yeah, fine. <laughs> so you're looking in the car? No. Well, you're Kevin. The road? The spot? <laughs> I'm always hard. It's the first time I've worn it. I'm always my test what I meant. Quite tough What did I say? What did I say that you drive me crazy? What I don't say? How can you drive you crazy if I don't say it? Looks like you give me. Looks like you really love. Look at me all the time. Because you're always asking me to look at you. Well, it would be nice if I didn't have to ask you, wouldn't it? It would be nice if you didn't need me to look at you. Unnecessary thoughts. You have got all the time in the world for everybody else, but I've got your blood when I walk in the room to get your attention. We walked into the room together. It was already done. <laughs> Please don't start. We are 45 minutes late as it is. We are 45 minutes late because you scowled at every dress I tried on. I didn't scowl, I smiled. <laughs> you always think my scowl looks like a smile, my smile looks like a frown, and my grin looks like a door. Don't <laughs> sneer at me. It wasn't a sneer, it was a pee. <laughs> Now we're going to get to the language, right? <laughs> no, the language is perfect. I won't get into any language. I don't want to risk a peeve, a frown, a scowl, or a sneer. God forbid I should show some human imperfection, huh? I don't look at you sometimes because I'm afraid that you're thinking that you don't like the way that I'm looking at you. I don't know what the hell you want from me, Dan. I really don't. I don't want anything from you. I mean, I would like things to be the way they were before they got to be the way that they are. Stuffy. 
an exercise well executed, but it is a piece of art though, there's not a lot going on here, it's flat, superficial. I see. You've smoothed everything out with sort of idea of photographic realism, but if you put this in the right line of shade, it's not actually realistic at all. I mean, I didn't look like that really. This is a stylized genetic representation. Yes, there is some accuracy in regard to my features, but it's a bit like a party trick. There's no real life. Maybe I was going for that. And if you want to know what is wrong with this picture, it's, it's, it doesn't give any sense of what it meant to draw it. It doesn't give any sense of what I mean to you. It doesn't give any sense of what it means to be a pitman, to be in that uniform, to be in this room, to be drawn anything. It's, it's bland, I think the word spacey. Yeah, Fill the facility that signify nothing well. Very little. I mean, that could be anyone in this picture, Leon, but. But I'm not. Like, I know you Should I go no, on? No, send me the final details. You're completely right. I, I know what this is. I know I'm a failure in any real artistic It's not a senior, Leon. You are. Everything that I was determined to be. Well, thank God you were saying that privilege. Privilege? I'm not privileged, Leo. I'm a minor. I worked down there in my hands and knees 48 hours a week. I mean, look at my hands. Look at your hands. I actually be here doing what you're doing. And I know I'm not the bee's knees, and I know by any means that means that I'm just as mediocre as you are. But I ain't be in the same boat here, but this, this should be me. I I should be an important man to hold all my time to art and let me turn me down people. Why can't that be me? Look, I, I'm a man only on key. I may be proud and I may be independent, but I'm certainly not privileged in any way. Strongish. Oliver, you know and I know what matters is the art. When everyone's forgotten I ever existed, they'll still be building galleries to show off your work. That's the privilege. You've got the gift, I mean, everyone runs up against indifference. The limitations, that's the whole point of art. If it was easy, everyone would do it, but yes, it wasn't fair. Yes, other people have it easy. Go out there and do something about it. You don't, I don't know. I agree, I'm disappointed. You should be angry. The way I see it, we can make a world where everyone can flourish. But you can't just do that by making art. I mean, painting pictures by itself isn't going to change the world. What do you think I was doing coming up to Ashington? Art's not enough by itself. You have to go into the hall and do something. After the war's over, there's a chance we can actually do something. Change something. And, and not just in a little way, but change it fundamentally. Be brave. Take your chances. Make something new. Come on in. 
Jesus. That's what the Lord was in. She always looks so tranquil and calm. <laughs> Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Mama's going to give you a big black eye. <laughs>